Hello everybody, welcome to week 19 of our baby class. We have got Rupert back with us this week, feeling on top form, aren't you Rupi? Next week is week 20, I can't believe it, I'm so excited. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be talking a little bit more about week 20 and what to expect from that class, including giveaways and the special things that you will need to have with you. Without further ado, let's get started with our week 19 baby class. I hope that you're ready to sing the welcome song. Let's clap our hands. Welcome to our baby class, our baby class, our baby class. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun. We'll reach up high. Can you stretch your arms, babies? And reach down low. We'll wiggle our fingers and tickle your toes. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun. Hooray! Shall we do some tapping now? Let's tap on the floor. Are you ready? Welcome to our baby class, our baby class, our baby class. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun. We'll reach up high, hooray, and reach down low. We'll clap our hands and boop your nose, boop, 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 boop. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun. We seem to have a whole new cohort of babies with us, which is so fantastic. So if you've just had a baby, or if your baby is very young, then welcome to our classes. We're so glad to have you here. Rupert and I, and all the other parents and babies that join in with us every week. There is a playlist of classes that you can go back and watch from week one, although I have to admit the quality is not brilliant on week one, so you might want to skip that one, all the way up to week 19 that we are on now. Just a word about positioning for your baby. If you have a very young baby, of course, you are going to want to leave them laying down on the floor. For the majority of the class, there will be times when you can pick them up, and I will talk you through that and give you different options depending on the age of your baby. Rupert here is nearly seven months old, just to give you a little idea if you see him doing certain things of what babies of that age normally do. I often get DMs asking me what age these classes are suitable from. They are suitable from newborn. You can do them from the day that your child is born if you want to. There's nothing in them that's unsuitable. You obviously just need to tailor the level of enthusiasm and energy depending on the age of your baby. But just fair warning, your newborn may sleep through the class in its entirety. I would recommend starting these classes around about week eight week seven or eight, and you can pick and choose little bits of the class to do, so you might want to do one song here, one song there, just a few minutes a day, five minutes, 10 minutes, and then slowly build it up. You may find that your baby doesn't actually make it through a full class until they're about three or four months old. We're going to start off this morning with some tickling. So grab your brush. I asked you to find a clean makeup brush or paint brush that you could use for this. This is an unused paint brush and it's very tickly. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to just brush it gently on our baby's heads. Lots of eye contact and say, oh, can you feel that? Can you feel that tickly brush on your head? Is it very tickly? And we'll go all the way down your nose. Are you trying to grab it to me? And we'll tickle behind those ears. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And over that chin. And then what about doing some tickling on those hands? What does that feel like? Is it very tickly? Yeah, yeah. And then tickle on the other hand. Tickle, tickle, tickle. You hear noises, by the way. That's my toddler out there. The door is open, so he's free to come in. He's just choosing to play out in the hall. And then, what about some tickly toes? Oh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Let's do round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and tickle you over there. And should we do it on the other foot? Oops. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you over there. 
We're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up now. So you can either leave your baby laying down on the floor and you can either help them to do the actions or do the actions yourself and they can watch you. Or if they're a little bit older and they want to, they can sit up. Rupert quite likes lying on the floor, so I'm going to leave him here. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knee. Shall we do it one more time? Are you ready? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knee. We're going to do a lap round now. Lift up your babies and pop them on your knees. Depending on the age of your baby, you can have them sitting to face you or face outwards. They can sit sideways on your knee like this, or if you need to give them a little bit more support, you can rest them on this part of your knee here, or they can stand up if they prefer. We're going to do Sitting in my high chair, my chair, my high chair, sitting in my high chair, banging my spoon. Bring on the jam and bring on the bread, when somebody get this baby fed? Shall we do it again? This time we're going to do... Sitting in my high chair, my chair, my high chair, sitting in my high chair, banging my spoon. Bring on the carrots, bring on the peas, won't somebody feed this baby, please? Ooh, is that fun? Should we do some bouncing? Ready? Uh, bounce, 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 Again, bounce, 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 stop. Is it funny? One more time. Bounce, 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 stop. We are going to do some singing and baby signing now. This week's sing and sign song is a little bit different. I'm going to teach you a hello song with names for the different family members. So I will sing the song first and then we will break down the different signs for the family members and then we can sing it again together. Hello mummy, hello daddy, hello brother, hello sister, hello grandma, hello granddad, nice to meet you. It's a little bit of a handsy one, I agree, but hopefully really useful to learn some of those family signs. So let's go through them now. We have mummy, that's three fingers on the palm of your hand and you tap twice, mummy. Daddy is two fingers together like this and you tap them on top of each other, daddy. Then of course, in between all the family members we have hello. Then we've got brother, which is you rubbing your two fists together like this, brother. And then sister, you bend your finger and tap it on the bridge of your nose, like this, sister. For grandma and granddad, they are very similar to mummy and daddy. So we do grand, which is two fists together, grand and then ma and then grand, dad. And those are the same whether you call them granny, nana, grandpa, granddad, the signs stay the same. And then we have nice, so you bring your thumbs up across your face, nice to meet you. Two index fingers together and you lean forwards slightly. Let's have a go at singing it together and then we will sing it for our babies. Hello mommy, hello daddy, hello brother, Hello sister, hello grandma, hello granddad, nice to meet you. It's a fast one, isn't it? Let's sing it for our babies now and have a go. So we'll do the baby signing song one more time. It doesn't matter where you have your baby really, as long as they can see you and you can get some nice eye contact while you sing. Hello mummy, hello daddy, hello brother, Hello sister, 
Hello Grandma, hello Grandad, nice to meet you. So grab your ribbons now. I've got one of these ribbon streamers. I got mine from Amazon. If you're interested in buying one of these for yourself, then there's always a link to all my recommended baby products down in the description below. I like these just as an alternative to the Montessori ribbon ring that we used last week. Can you see those ribbons? So we want to wave your ribbons or your favourite toy if you've got your child's favourite toy instead and we want to move it slowly from side to side in front of their face so that their eyes can track the movement and then if they're a little bit older they can reach up and grab the ribbons as well while we sing. There are colours in the air, in the air. There are colours in the air, in the air. There are colours in the air, there are colours in your hair. There are colours in the air, in the air. Should we take it up? There are colours way up high, way up high. There are colours way up high, way up high. There are colours way up high, there are colours in the sky. There are colours way up high, way up high. There are colours way down low, way down low. There are colours way down low, way down low. There are colours way down low, there are colours on your toes. Woo! There are colours way down low, way down low. Shall we sing the rainbow song? Red and yellow and pink and green purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Can you catch those colours? Okay, while your babies are lying down or if they're sitting up, you can keep them sitting up for this one. Somewhere where you can touch the different parts of their bodies because we're going to sing my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. We'll start off nice and slowly. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Let's all clap hands together. Should we go a bit faster? Are you ready? My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Let's all clap hands together. Should we go even faster? Are you ready, babies? My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Let's all clap hands together. We're going to do some tapping again this week. We've got our box here and we're going to do some tapping and stopping. Are you just going to chew on that spoon, Rupert? We can use this brush instead. Are you ready? Tap. Tap, 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 stop. Tap, 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 stop. Where's that sound gone? Should we do it again? Tap, 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 stop. One more time. Tap, 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 stop. We're going to do some playing loudly, quietly, quickly and slowly now. So we'll start off with quietly. This is how we quietly play, quietly play, quietly play. This is how we quietly play when we're making music. Shall we go very loudly, ready? This is how we loudly play, loudly play, loudly play. This is how we loudly play when we're making music. What about slowly? This is how we slowly play, slowly play, slowly play. This is how we slowly play when we're making music. And shall we go very quickly? Are you ready? This is how we quickly play, quickly play, quickly play. This is how we quickly play when we're making music. Hooray! 
So if you've got a baby that's older like Rupert, then you can let them have a go at tapping for themselves or just hold their hand and support them so they get used to the idea of moving loudly, quietly, quickly or slowly. If you've got a younger baby, then they will enjoy just listening to the sound and watching you as you play the instrument for them. We're going to sing Incy Wincy Spider again this week. I will use the signs that we learnt last week in our Sing and Sign song, but if you don't know them, you can either just copy me and join in or do your own signs, it doesn't matter. So we're going to sing. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And in see in see spider climbed up the spout again. One more time. In see in see spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And in see in see spider climbed up the spout again. Are you ready for a little bit more bouncing now? Are you ready, Rupert? We're going to do some Pop Goes the Weasel. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Shall we do it again? Do you want to face me so we can see each other? Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes. Goes the weasel. Hooray! One more time. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle, that's the way the money goes. Pop! Goes the weasel. It's time for us to sing You Are My Sunshine Now, so cuddle your babies in tight. And we're going to sing You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. We will sing goodbye in a second, but make sure you stay tuned if you are interested in knowing about the baby class next week, our week 20 special edition baby class. Are you ready to sing goodbye? Goodbye, babies. Goodbye, mummies. Goodbye daddies, we're glad you came to play. Goodbye brothers, goodbye sisters, goodbye everyone, we'll see you all next week. So next week is our week 20 of our baby class. I can scarcely believe that we're on week 20 already and I have planned a really special class for us it will be an extra long class with all of our favourites plus a few brand new songs that we've never sung before. I will be releasing a list of all the things that you need to gather well in advance of the class because there are a few extra things that we don't normally have. So make sure that you are following me on either Instagram or Facebook to find out what you need before the class takes place. The links to my Instagram and my Facebook are down below if you're interested. I will also be doing a giveaway of one of my favourite baby play products of all time. If you are a regular follower of this channel you may know what I'm talking about because it's something that I feature in a lot of my best buy and favourite baby toy videos. So make sure that you join us next week to find out what that is. Thank you very much for joining me today everybody and if you've got this far you get bonus points if you're eagle-eyed and can spot what's different about Rupert from the start of this video to the end. Leave me a comment below and see if you notice the difference. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.